Yeah, we're good. Wake the machine up. This is Beethoven, late string quartet number 15. And this is it's played by the Albenberg uh, Quartet, who are pretty good at it. Um, and it's the slow movement, obviously. Right. Uh, still the light of Christ shining. And, right. <laughs> These are long hours through the night. I think Christ was in the Garden of Gethsemane and actually sweating drops of blood. And all his followers went to sleep or something, I think. I think that's right. <laughs> this old clock, right? I'm afraid it was a gimme. Uh, someone had chucked it out. Where I used to live in St. Albans. But I've had it for over a year. Now I've got, because I'm made the way I am, I've got four brand new Duracell batteries in my <laughs> door, <laughs> right? But that old clock, and it, it's got a very, very quiet tick. You've got to be quiet to hear the tick. I'm sure, I think I found it last February, so, Whichever battery it's got in there, it's a jolly good battery. <laughs> What's the meaning of life? Come on, own up. Does anyone know? I got the answer. Anyone else? <laughs> meaning of life to love God through Christ. Uh, shall we? run that through again. What is the meaning of life? The meaning of life is not some silly number or anything else. The meaning of life, why we human beings exist, right? This has been a question that philosophers have gone on about forever. The meaning of life why we are here, why human beings exist is, we are here to love God through Christ. Okay, so the two commandments, right? Two little commandments. <laughs> the biggest things in the world, these two little commandments, right? The first one is to love God through Christ. And the second one is to love your neighbor as yourself. That's it. Bang. Right. Now, I find this music beautiful. But it's called contrapuntal, and it's a little difficult to get your head round initially. <laughs> meaning of life, meaning of life, uh, love God through Christ, two commandments, um... I don't know. Go back to sleep. I'm wide awake, obviously. Right. Uh, 
the old brain is actually ticking away inside here. I'm just trying not to say a load of old cobblers as usual. Well, I don't say a load of old cobblers, actually. I do try and speak sense. Right. If we're here to love God through Christ, then within us we must contain things like honesty and truth and good behavior and normalness and loving and stuff like that. Honesty. My mother brought me up this way that an honest man has no superior. Therefore, presumably the converse is true, that a dishonest man is condemned. At the moment, that is the Prime Minister of Britain, a certain Mr. Boris Johnson. I mean, he is an utterly dishonest little man. And he won't survive for long even with his big conservative majority here in Britain, 80 seats or something. Well, uh, God sort that out. Sorry, it's not my field. Politics with this a large P, definitely not, and with a small P, yes. I am interested in the world in which I live. and how people behave. I mean, listening to Radio 4, which is what I've got, <clears throat> apparently most of the country, quite frankly, just wants to get on with their lives. He's fixed Brexit, and he's sort of getting on top of COVID. Our deaths per million are 1,800 plus in England, Britain. India is 140 deaths per million or something. I mean, so much lower because they've got a much bigger population and it hasn't really kicked off. Europe is actually where this COVID thing, because people travel, that's obviously the... <coughs> I mean, that's obviously... Why? Well, those people came off the ski slopes in Italy and came back in there. India's death per million are much, much lower than the West. But to wake up early this morning, as I do, I get a quick shot of the news and to see these funeral pyres, that's loads of logs piled up, burning a body and it takes four to six hours apparently that's what they said the bones won't burn actually but you can't just have human corpses piling up because you'll get disease i come from a medical uh, background so what's the meaning of life <laughs> Well, to me, it's blindingly obvious. Love God through Christ. 